in this question, we're showing the mass spectrum of this compound here. Uh, and we're asked to identify which ion is responsible for the peak with the greatest relative intensity. So which ion is responsible for the peak with the greatest relative intensity? So let's identify that peak first. That's going to be the peak that has the, the tallest peak, the one that's largest on the y-axis, has the largest y-axis value since the y-axis is relative intensity. So this peak is at an m over z of 43. So we need to look at the ions that we've been shown and to check what each of their masses are. So first of all, we've got A, two carbons, four hydrogens, and an oxygen. That's going to be 44, 24, 28, 44. We've got three carbons, 36 plus six, that's 42. We've got CH3, two, it's 30, plus 12, 42, plus one, 43. And CH3, CO, that's going to be 27, 43. So we know that our shift, the shift of our peak, the M over Z, is 43. We can eliminate A and B since they don't have the correct M over Z value. We've got a charge of one, uh, a formula mass of 42 and 44. So their M over Zs would be 44 and 42 respectively for A and B. We're left with C and D, which both have this value of 43. The best thing to do here is to draw these ions to see if they could feasibly be formed during the breakdown of our original molecule. So let's draw our original molecule and also draw ions C and D. So to have this positive charge on this carbon while also only being bonded to CH3 and oxygen, this is going to have to be a carbonyl. Our original molecule only has an alcohol in it and we can only make one sort of break to the molecule. We can't move any bonds around to form these ions per se which means the ion C is, is definitely going to be the one that's forming here. This breaks, and we're left with a positive charge on that carbon there. So our answer is option C.